So this diagram here shows a wave which is moving through another medium, another material, and then it comes out the other side. Perhaps we might have some red light which is being shone through a glass block. Now what we've done on this diagram here is actually we've got a diagram that shows wave fronts. And these are effectively all parts of a wave which are at the same phase. So this might be the top of the wave, that might be the top of the next wave. And that means that the distance between the wave fronts is equal to the wavelength of that wave at this time. And what we can see is that uh, when a wave hits another medium, sometimes some of that wave is reflected back again. And this is what we call reflection. But in this case, some of that wave is also traveling through this other material. And as it does that, in this case, it might be a light wave which goes from the air into the glass, it might slow down. And as it slows down, the wavelength actually decreases. So we can see that the distance between the wave fronts here is smaller than the distance between the wave fronts over here. And what we then get is something called refraction. And often if you've got a wave which is hitting material at an angle, we also then have a change in direction. We can actually change the direction of waves. And that's really useful. So refraction is when a wave speeds down or slows, when it speeds up or slows down as it goes from one medium to another. Something else we might see is actually the intensity of these waves decreases as it goes through this material. And this is what we call absorption. And a great example might be when you've got sunglasses. So with sunglasses, they don't let all of the light through. That's why they're slightly dark. And that means that you don't get uh, exposed to the intense uh, light that you might otherwise if you didn't have these sunglasses on. So sunglasses, you know, all we've got is a wave going through a different medium and that absorbs some of that light. And finally, what we have over here is light which is transmitted. And transmitted just means that it's been able to pass through something and it keeps going. So these are certain things that happen to all sorts of waves. Uh, so it might be a water wave, it might be an electromagnetic wave. So we might have reflection, refraction, absorption and transmission. We get the most transmission when we've got something which is transparent. If you've got something which is translucent, it starts to absorb some of that light. And if you've got something which is opaque, it doesn't let any of that wave get through at all and therefore nothing is transmitted. So a whole load of new terms, but you'll soon get used to using these in all sorts of scenarios. But I've got lots more videos that talk a little bit more about reflection and refraction. And a final thing about this diagram. This is showing the wave fronts as they move through a medium. But sometimes what's more useful is if we actually draw a ray to show the direction that that wave has traveled. So this thing down here, I'm just gonna put a couple of arrows on to show which way that's moving. This is our ray. That's really useful when it comes to looking at diagrams of reflection, refraction, and actually how we use lenses. And what's important to see here is that the ray is at 90 degrees to the direction of that wave front. So rays are really useful when it comes to looking at how waves interact with different surfaces.